Hello watch fans, Beth here watches here and this time for you we have a 1922 pocket watch by Limit. Now we know it's 1922 because of the hallmarks because this is a silver case. The cartouche hasn't been engraved at the back but you can see there are a couple of little dents. The watch is nearly an antique, it's supposed to be 100 years old to be an antique. It's getting that way, you see there's a dent at the bottom but the bow has got the perfect tension on it. The onion crown is very good, it's not worn smooth. Inside the back we see more hallmarks and stamped ALD, which is for Denison, which if we can get into the case as well, you'll see it's written Denison there as well, which are very good case makers. Again, that's got a small dent, but it's hardly that important. Movement running away nicely. Manual wind, of course, it's uh, set by the crown. You don't need keys on this. There's a small crack on the dial just here, and the hands aren't perfectly straight. But the worst damage is actually to the glass. There's a mark just there, I can get my thumbnail in. There's another scratch across here. We don't have pocket watch glasses in stock, so we're gonna leave that, because some people actually prefer something that's a hundred years old to look like it is a hundred years old. When you've got no name on the dial it's called a sterile dial for obvious reasons but limit was stamped on the movement so we know that the movement would have been imported from Switzerland up to their factory in Saddleworth where it was paired with a case from made in Birmingham. So it is technically Swiss but it was all put together in the UK in a, in a British case. Running nicely, as I say, all silver case, and available now at birthyearwatches.com. Thanks for watching.